Okay, this is the Angel Hug for Tuesday, the uh, 16th of April. And um, what am I going to choose today? Oh, these ones are beaming out at me. Archangel Raphael card. So it's going to be a good day for healing. And um, looking at change, our theme for the week, I would say it's definitely going to be a, a good day to look inside at what needs to change about us, what we need to release next, what we need, how we need to grow next in order to embrace change in our lives. Right, so it, it feels like a very personal one. It's not so much about the collective, it's about us, our personal change and how we're going to bring change. Oh, change positions, it says. <laughs> how interesting. Right, so I am not going to interpret that literally because, you know, not everyone is actually um, signed on with a doctor. Not everyone actually is that committed to allopathic medicine or, you know, ever has any need or desire to visit a physician. However, many will, and um, all of those things are respected as much as all alternatives are respected, all complementary um, modalities, let's just say, are respected, everything is respected equally. The point here is of this card that if you feel that in any way, shape or form, you could benefit from going to someone else for advice, whether it's traditional medical advice or physical healing advice through a complementary practitioner, whether it's a nutritionist, whether it's someone else that's looking after you or that's helping you through any particular process at the moment, or whether you've just recently identified that you could have help with a particular process, either change the person that you're with or think about changing them, or think about adding another practice or another modality or if you're not really being guided by anyone at all at the moment, think about what might help you. Do you need someone to help you to, to get physical again and to get exercising? Do you need someone to inspire you? Do you need someone to give you some advice with um, you know, how to uh, look after your internal bits and pieces that you may have neglected, like having an analysis of how much fat you're carrying around on the inside that might be unhealthy, not necessarily from a dietary point of view, but it could be. There's no judgment with either of those things. We all know how we feel best looking and how we look best feeling and how we, what, you know, what feels good for us. So whatever it is, and if it is something very serious, and you don't feel that you're getting a satisfactory conclusion or series of answers, then definitely check that out with a physician, go to someone different. And the card actually says, um, there are at least for a second opinion, for another opinion. And I'm also being told to mention hormones as well, because there are lots of, uh, lots of the changes that are happening around us globally, energetically, are shifting some of us out of balance and causing hormonal imbalances for those who are very sensitive to those things. So it's a good idea to get a check-up of all the nutritional ups and downs and some of the uh, hormonal bits and pieces and just pay attention to some of those things and make sure that you have the right advisor in those areas. Um, the card says, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for leading me to the best healer for this situation. Amen. So that's a great prayer stroke affirmation because we do need to be led to the right people and what amazes me at the moment is how synchronistic synchronistically I'm always finding just the perfect thing at the moment I mean in bizarre ways um, I, I heard about something called um, I think it's access consciousness but when you speak to a practitioner they usually say you know getting your bars done or something like that and um, and I remember thinking oh that sounds really interesting and I actually thought to myself I wonder how I'd get to, to do that with someone and within a couple of days I met someone who said that she was actually a practitioner and she wanted to do some energy clearing work and some past life work and would I like to swap a session? <gasps> so I said, yeah, okay, let's do that. So I just think, you know, if we really do put our intentions out there to keep rising in terms of frequency and health and wholeness, um, this is one of the things that our guides and the angels find it very, very helpful, very, very easy to help us with. So put those affirmations out there in full faith to find someone the right healer, the right advisor who can help you to rise to your best and your highest frequency for this particular point in your evolution. And that's what I'm going to say for Tuesday because it does feel like it's a powerful healing day and that that in itself is enough of a message for today. So I'll be back tomorrow. Everyone have a great Tuesday. Bye.